because I don't know that they are truly born again, are teaming up with Roman Catholics in the sake of peace in order to fight against Islam. Now, Muslims and Catholics together are both deceived. Neither one of them is saved because they don't believe in the true Jesus. The Catholics believe in a peace gospel. They believe that through their sacraments you can receive grace, where the Bible is very clear in Romans 11, 6, that if it's of grace and it's not of work, so grace is no longer grace. And, you know, and that's just one Bible verse, I can give many, many others. Okay, so and so, so, no, they're Catholics and Christians together trying to fight against this one. But to me, what's the point? Satan doesn't care whether you be a Muslim or whether you be a Catholic. He just doesn't want you to be saved. So if you want to make a difference in the world, then you need to preach the true gospel because that's the only way we're going to help anybody. So teaming up with that which is God and then accusing us of being sectarians because we're exposing it, when we care about Catholics the same as we care about Muslims, I want to see everybody receive the kingdom of God and be saved. Do you think there's too much anger going on? No, it's not anger. It's passion for the truth. And we can be accused of causing division because we're telling them the truth. They're going to fight against us. You know, because they're like teaming up together and they're acting like they're all brothers and there's this great big peace going on. We that team reach against what they're doing and we're saying this ain't right. There's no fellowship with light and darkness. Catholics and Christians, they're not brothers and sisters. They believe in a false Jesus and a false gospel. And you need to preach to Catholics the same as you do Muslims. Because if a Muslim sees Catholics and Christians teaming up, they might join the Catholic Church and think that that's the true way of salvation. And then they will end up saying deceived. And so what good are you doing? Do you, do you, think, do you think there's room to... Uh... Sorry. Do you think there's perhaps time to... Uh, I suppose do away with denomination. No, do you know what? God's church is his people. All right? So they say that Islam is trying to take over Christianity. God's temple is his people. They might try to overtake a religious organization, but Jesus said the gates of hell cannot prevail against his kingdom. His church is his people. Jesus is the chief cornerstone, the apostles of the foundation, and we are stones in his building. You can't destroy us. God is saving people. He's very active in the world, saving people all the time the only way we can do any good in this world is to preach jesus christ the true gospel of salvation and this is rubbish what they have you know jesus said they seek glory from one another but they don't seek glory from the only true living god and so you know and that's what they're doing down here they seek glory from each other but they're not seeking it from god i don't care about hating i care that people get saved they get born again and they come to true faith in jesus christ if i can down here and I said to, I played you know I pretended the Catholics were I didn't agree with them but I, I just for the sake of peace I said to Catholics okay you know we're friends or whatever and I never told them the truth on the day of judgment having received the revelation from Jesus knowing the truth and then Jesus I'm standing there and he says to this Catholic friend someone that I claim to love depart from me you workers of iniquity I didn't know you into the lake of fire and how wicked and 
evil would I be at watching that, knowing that I was with that person and I did not tell them the truth? Question, yeah. I buried my auntie last month. She was 88, I think. And she was a Catholic. And uh, my mom shared with her her faith, which was Protestant. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but my auntie died as a Catholic. Now, based on what you just said there, and that she didn't accept Jesus Christ as we you know Jesus Christ, yeah. from your understanding, is she going to be cast into the lake of fire? If she didn't believe the gospel, if she believed that salvation was by her works, so that she could do receive grace from God through the sacraments, then she wasn't trusting in Christ's finished work on the cross. Let's so based on that, I would have to say yes. But let me tell you something. My nan died, as far as I know, a Catholic. I don't know if Jesus saved her on her deathbed. Right. So, so believe me, I'm not. I used to be Catholic. Oh. I had a relationship with the priests and the nuns. I don't have a vendetta against them. I don't hate Catholics. So, I love them enough to tell them the truth. So let's, I'm going to go step one step back. Okay. Let's say, because you believe in God the Father. Yeah. They believe in God the Father. Yeah. So the Catholics, yeah? Yeah. Now, people accuse the Muslims of uh, following this Allah concept. But I've got a friend who's a Muslim. He uses Allah and God interchangeably. Me. Okay, so I default to that he believes in God, the Father. Well, it doesn't matter. No, if you don't have Christ, so, so, you don't have God. So, okay. So, I hear what you're saying. I'm just asking a question. So, if if you have ten people, ten different religions, but all believe in the Father, okay, and, and if you factor in the Holy Spirit, okay, and as you said, we don't know what happens on the person deathbed. No, no, so they're, but they're, 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 they're only God knows. But yeah, I, we exactly. know what the so Bible we think, teaches. We think, right? There could be less, uh, could be less tension between people. No. If we, if no. hold on to my question. If we were to be more encouraging of people, then perhaps having like tension between people. No, Does but they're Jesus said I came not to bring peace, but a sword. When you tell people the truth, it divides you. He said, he said I came to say a man is, against a fa uh, son, against okay. a father, a daughter against Another a mother. Question. And the reason being yeah. is because if you go back to Micah 7, 6, God says, this is the time of your visitation. Now is the time of confusion. A man will be set against his father, a son against his father, a daughter against a mother. You know why? Because now that Jesus has come to bring truth, the devil is going to come in with all the confusion okay, and the so lies, and the truth, okay. the word of God is going Another to divide question. us. Another question. How do we tell the difference between one who doesn't understand the concept of Jesus and one who rejects Jesus? Well, we, I mean... Can we actually judge that in some way? No, but it doesn't Literally, make any difference. The condition to be saved is not believe, is be born again. Yes, you have to believe That's in a Jesus different, to be born completely. again. Yes, the huge you difference. can say you believe in Jesus, but Jesus Even says Satan it himself. In yeah, Jesus said That's it amazing. himself. I've These people you. honor me with their lips, but with their hearts they deny me. And you have to be believe in your heart and confess with your mouth the Lord yes, Jesus. Yes, and so, so uh, born again. When I use the term believe, because the Bible said believe in Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. He said believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, it's the same thing, isn't it? Believe, okay, the concept of belief in Jesus Christ. Is it, Jesus said, believe, repent and believe. I get you, get, we're on the same track, on the same track. We're having a discussion. So when the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, I believe that to be the same thing as being born again. Because... No, no, because, no, no. Wait, 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 I'm not arguing, I'm arguing. I'm no, arguing. no, no. Discussion. discussion. The born again is... So you're you talking about the Broadway John child. Paul. When they, the Nicodemus approached to Jesus, Master, Master, I know you come from God, from God, but only you can do the thing that a man from God. But you can say, and Nicodemus, unless you be born again, you can. Yeah, I'm just saying. And, uh, I get you. I'm with you. Yeah, I'm with you. Yeah, I was there. 
that man was a teacher of the law. I'm with you. I'm a with religious you. I'm with you. I'm, like a, I'm with you. I'm with you. Better than me. I'm just saying. When so are we saying those two those two concepts? Born again and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be said. Are we saying these are two different concepts? No, no, you have to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and you thou shalt be saved, but, uh, in order for you to be born again. So they kind of happen simultaneously. So the moment a person believes in their heart, then that's their conversion. So, so when I read the Bible, when I read yeah. the scriptures, when I read those two but statements, just because somebody says they believe doesn't mean that they believe in their heart. So when, I, when I read the scriptures, when I read the scriptures, I read those two statements. Yeah. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and I shall be saved. Yeah. And being born again, yeah. I see those two as one. Yes. Yeah, one thing. I would say yes. Yeah, That's one thing. That's all but saying. you have to believe in your heart. 100%. And so if so, you believe in your heart, yeah. then you're not going to believe that sacraments save you. You're not going to believe yeah. that your work saved you. Mean, you're mean, not going to believe Jesus is a prophet. Okay. You're not going to believe he's a piece of, thing, of bread. So, you're going to believe he's God. Let's take and that he paid all let's, your sins. That was very so, so even though you might say you believe, you might not believe. And that's the point. Let's have a scenario. The thief on the cross. Yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, the thief on the cross, okay. I don't know his background. We know nothing no, about, his background. about his work. He won't say by that. You know what's a thief? Oh, no, hear my question. A murderer. Hear my question. Hear my question. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we don't know if he was a murderer. Yeah. You know, he was a criminal. He was a criminal. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so we, yeah. the Bible doesn't give us background in terms of uh, his concept of the father. Okay, we don't know that. But what, he, what we know is that here he's pinned to this, he's nailed, and there's this guy called Jesus. And he says, Jesus, save me. Yeah. Hold on, hold on, quick, 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 quick. Now, so we don't, we, there's no nothing written there indicating he knew of the Father. No, you don't need to. That's no, not it. No, that's not it. Hear my question. No, that's not it. Treat me as a as a novice. That's treat, me as, no, treat me as a novice. Now, hear my question. Okay. All right. Hear my question. Okay. There's a challenging but you have to hear the answers. There's a, there's a challenging question, okay? All right. So we can, we can learn a lot when we kind of go a bit deeper, okay? So the Bible doesn't say that he knew about the Father. No. But the Bible does say, what? today you would be in paradise. So my question is this. It's just a question. I'm not challenging you. Yeah. Just a question. Yeah. Because if we're going to witness to people, we need to be ready for questions. Okay? Yes. Okay. And so question, and they're explorative questions. Okay. Okay. And so let's switch it to the Father. Let's say, let's say, a person, individual, they've yeah. heard about the Father, okay, they know about the Father Creator, you can accept the Creator, okay, but they've not heard about Jesus Christ, okay, and within within that short journey, they've lost their lives, but they believe in the Father, but they've not, wait a minute, hold on, but they've not heard about Jesus Christ yet. But the father can see the heart. The Holy Spirit can see the heart. No, no, because they're not saved by the heart. Let me question, uh, question first. Can you get? Can you? Can you answer? Okay. I'm being very careful with my question. See? All right. And so they've not heard of Jesus Christ, but they, they believe in the Father. They believe in salvation, but they don't know about Jesus Christ yet. Okay. That, will they be saved or lost? No. Saved. You say wait. They will be saved. Okay. Listen, because. Look at Abraham, Moses, all the prophets believe without no knowing Jesus ah. at all. Ah, but they, they, don't believe, they believe in the promise. Yeah, but they, they know believe about in the promise Jesus. that God made the son of the guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got locked in the mosque. Yeah. And there was a um, beating and, the and the locked in the mosque and taking the one out. Oh, I wasn't beaten, I was just here a couple of times. How are you? How are you here? And then they looked at me in their mind. We can generalize. No, 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 and they didn't hear about Jesus, and you say, you know, they believed in salvation or whatever else. Abraham, no, wait, Isaac, wait. hold on, let me tell you. Hold on, hold on. That wasn't my question. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Hold oh, on. We added a bit to it. 
All right, hold on. Well, let me finish. Let no, me no, you, no, you, you added a bit to my question. You said they believed in salvation. I didn't say no. I didn't say that. I'm pretty sure you did, but we can check on the video. But that's okay. okay let me go back. And so hold on. No, no. All right, but you said you did say they believed in the Father and salvation. So let me tell you something. If they didn't have Jesus, then they, unless the Father, because the Father has a way of revealing Jesus. If you read the Book of Romans, chapter one, it already tells us that when the apostles went out and preached, question. they went out and preached to the whole world. No he, one he is saved by being good. No one is saved by being good. So, but no one is saved by being no, good. All right, what was your question? Okay, I'm going to repeat the question. Okay, okay can you do it? speak quicker? No offense. It was really slow. Before. And that's what tried to be slow to uh, to hear and be the hearing. All right, but I'm pretty sure. Well, yeah, if I upload the video, we can you're watch right, it back. Right. I think you're very, uh, we can watch you're it very back. passionate about what you believe in. I know the truth, you're, that's you're, right. You're driving your point forward. You're not listening very much. I don't right? want... No, I, I heard you, so, I'm pretty so sure. But we can double I check. Said, I, I have a video. Someone, they, they understand the concept of the Father. Yeah. They understand the concept of the Father because he's the one who saves through Jesus Christ. They yeah. Get that. But moments after, they've heard of the salvation of the Father, that Christ, the Father saves, but they've not yet heard about Jesus Christ. But moments later, they died. That was my question. Yeah, but you are they, put a are they time. say that's no, I'm, no, sure I'm just saying that's moments well, later. But, you know, I have to double check. Jesus Christ or after Jesus Christ. No, 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 it's no, no, it's it's no, no, it matter. All right. It matter a lot. This, All right. Okay, this is a mute point. Anyway, it's a mute point. Anyway, okay. So listen, if, if you're gonna, listen, if you're gonna, if you're gonna share Jesus Christ, if we're gonna share Jesus Christ, we have to be patient. Yeah. And be patient. Listen to people because yeah. you're witnessing the people who don't know Jesus Christ. Yeah. Well, and you're witnessing the people who don't know Jesus Christ. Speak. As well. You're here for a reason, aren't you? You're here to witness about Jesus, aren't you? Yeah. yeah? That's why you're here. You're not here to shout at people. No, and sort of. You have to shout though. No, in no, you're charging that guy over there. Charging at him. Be no, no, it's no one's been no, abusive. On, I have the video. I have the video. Listen, you're not listening. No one's been abusive. No, you know what? You lot just team up together and you lot seek glory from one another. You but, you but you don't seek it from the only true God. You're not but here you to preach the truth. Am. It doesn't matter. You're nobody. The body of Christ, if you are born again, you're a redeemed sinner. There's no celebrities in the body of Christ. There's no famous people in the body of Christ. You lot revere one another, but you don't revere God. That's the saddest part about it. You lot, you lot, seriously, you need to stop worshipping men and start worshipping Jesus. He's the only true living God and the only one worthy of our praise and honor. Honestly, you don't seek worship from one another, but you don't seek it from the only true God. There's no fellowship with light and darkness. We can check out the video on my channel another time.